I'm making this video today to, to ask the question, do you have your own mind? Do you have your own mind? Because if you have your own mind, that means that somebody don't, don't have to make the decision for you. Hey, glory to God. Somebody don't have to control you. Somebody don't have to slaverize you. We live in a world where people don't have their own mind. You can't make decision on your own. You got to be dictated like you live in China or live in the Soviet Union. My friend, you live in America. If you don't live in America, glory to God, you will be all, all be able to control your mind. That mean the Bible say, let this mind be in you, which was in Christ Jesus. The Bible say, my friend, they that keep their mind stayed on me, I keep them in perfect peace. Do you have your own mind? If any mother control a child and is not their child, my friend, the mother have controlled you and you don't have your own mind. Hey, go to God, if a man control you and you're not married to this man, hey, go to God, but he dictate your life, you don't have your own mind. If you're in a cult and you've been controlled by the cult, you don't have your own mind. You got to go to the pastor. Pastor, can I do this? Pastor, can I marry this? Pat no, my friend, you ought to have your own mind because the Bible said, let this mind be in you, which was in Christ Jesus. Now, Jesus Christ's mind, he go to God. Jesus Christ don't control people's mind. He give you a free will, a choice to choose the right thing. Oh, glory to God. And a lot of people, my friend, that's why I got out of religion. What I said, I got out of religion. I got out of denomination. I got out of organization because they are dictating to people. They control people. Well, I say pastors control people. They lie to people. I remember how you, I go to this church, my friend. They say that if you pay your tithes and offering, you are blessed with a blessing. You want to curse if you don't pay your tithe. That's, that's, that's my control. That's dictating, my friend. Hey, go to God. Cause if you know, when you give an offering, my friend, it wasn't no force. It wasn't no demand. It was a free will. No one called a free will offering. But back to the subject. Do you have your own mind? There are a lot of people don't have their own mind. And somebody dictating to you. If you say no, and somebody overrides you and make you say yes, and even though you want to say no, you don't have your own mind. We're living in a mindless society. What? A mindless society. What's a mindless society? People that are crazy. If you can if you can't make decision without somebody overriding your decision, you don't have your mind. It's time to have your own mind. A mindless society. That's my message, my friend. A mindless society. People that don't have their own mind. Yes, I say you don't have your own mind. The Bible, the Bible say, my friend, let this mind. Your mind don't mean to be controlled. Your mind don't mean to be to be forced, my friend. Yes, you don't have your own mind. People dictate your mind. You can't go. You can't go to sleep until you have to ask somebody. Can I go to sleep? You can't go to stores. Can I go to the store, my friend? Come on, something wrong with you. Mindless society. People don't. People are crazy nowadays. Hey, go to God. If you don't, if you're not serving Jesus Christ, you are crazy. If you don't serve a God, you are crazy. Well, I say, if you don't know who God is, if you don't serve God, you are crazy because the devil wants you to be crazy. He don't want you to serve nothing. Atheists serve nothing. They serve nothing, my friend. Nothing out of nothing is something, nothing, my friend. And people, my friend, they don't have their own mind. If you're not serving God, you are crazy. Well, I say, if you don't have your own mind, you like the man in the cemetery that cut himself with stone until he met Jesus. And the Bible say he got clothes in his right mind. So people, my friend, they got legions. Anytime somebody control you, you have legion. You don't have your own mind. Hey, go to God. You can't. Come on. Can, can we talk? Can, can we talk? If a man control you and you're not married to this man, something's wrong with you. Hallelujah. You, you, a man tell you to go certain places and you don't want to go and a mom come into you, you don't have your own mind. You become a person that have a, a mindless society. You are mindless and you are a mess. 
because you don't have your own mind. You are a mess because you don't have your own mind. A mindless society. We are living in the 21st century. People don't have their own mind. People don't want to get married. They want to lay, hallelujah, you know, open their legs and have baby. They can't control. You can't. Come on. Now you ought to be control your destiny. Control your future. Your future ought to be married. Your future not to be a, be a hoe. Hallelujah. Oh, oh, hallelujah. Hallelujah. Come on now. Mindless. Mindless society. You don't have your own mind. People control you. People, hallelujah, you like a puppet. You like a program. My friend, you sick. Come on now. You, you in your 20s plus. You let people dictate your life, control your life. What's wrong with you? Wake up. Hallelujah. If you want to go a certain place, no mother, no boyfriend should not control you. You ought to have your own mind. I have my own mind. That's why I left these churches. They control people. They tell you, do this and tell you to do that. Go ask the pastor. No, but I, I'm going to ask God. Hey, go to God. This is not slavery. Hey, go to God. That's why I don't, I don't, I don't understand people, my friend. They talk about slavery in the, in the Old Testament. And they have a credit card. They become slaves to their credit card. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Mindless society. Mindless. What's wrong with your mind? You can't think on your own. You can't go to places. You, you got to call this person. Can I go? The person say, yeah, I want you to go. And you say, I can't. Uh, I can't go because what's this? I can't go. What's wrong with you? Hey, go to God. A mindless society. I just don't understand, my friend. We live in a world where people are controlled. You let people control your mind. You got to go places that you don't want to go, but you try to keep the peace, my friend. Keep the peace, my friend. Don't mean you got to be controlled. To keep the peace, my friend. I got to think. I got to think. The Bible says, think on these things. You ain't thinking. You ain't thinking about the only thing control. If people controlling you, you can control yourself. A person that can't control himself is a person that's a puppet. You program. You let the devil program you. We live in society right now where we've got some, some no good mothers. Herodias had a no good mother. She said, she said, she said, Mom, what should I ask? And she said, the John the Baptist head. And she, she went to the king and said, give me John the Baptist head. <laughs> Go to God. She don't have her own mind. She controlled by her mother. And we're living in a, in a world where mother control daughters. Come on, where son control, where the mother control their son. Hey, you are 30 years old and your mother still dictating your life. You mama's boy. Mindless society. Mindless society. And it's sad. My friend, people don't have the mind of Christ. People don't have their mind stayed on Christ. Don't think their mind stayed on the sex. Satan and secularism. A mindless society.